I'm Emily Walker, MedPage Today. A health care reform summit at the White House on Thursday was the hottest ticket in town, according to the president. President Barack Obama hosted more than 120 attendees at the day-long event designed to bring together people who will have a hand in health care reform. Some expected players were there, such as hospital and physician groups, health advocacy groups, and prominent lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. And then there were some attendees that one wouldn't expect to support health care reform, who certainly did not support it in the 1990s when the Clinton's health reform attempt failed. Dr. Jeffrey Harris, president of the American College of Physicians, spoke with MedPage today after the summit and shared his thoughts on the odd bedfellows the reform movement has created this time around. The representative of the insurance industry spoke about how eager they are to to have mm-hmm. reform. Yeah. And you will remember they were one of the leading opponents uh, to the Clinton plan. I mean, that's a sea change. Um, you heard the business roundtable say that they, you know, the business community, they want to see this happen. When this year began, I was not optimistic, but as the year goes along, I become increasingly optimistic. Mm -hmm. And that today, as you heard so many people say, and these these were people from both houses of Congress who said, we don't ever recall seeing an effort of this magnitude and with such a diverse group of stakeholders gathered together trying to get to... Healthcare reform. Mm-hmm. Also notably present at the discussion was the American Medical Association, which was left out of the debate in the 90s, according to AMA President Dr. Nancy Nielsen. The group's inclusion now indicates that physicians are playing a much bigger role in crafting reform, Dr. Nielsen said. Another physician at the summit, Dr. Erwin Redliner, a pediatrician and president of the Children's Health Fund, agreed that physicians are more involved in the politics of health care than before. I think physicians are much more willing to talk about health reform. In fact, uh, many physicians are demanding that something could be done because physicians have gotten the brunt of a lot of the problems with this current so-called system where uh, life has become miserable for many doctors. The ability to practice quality medicine has been hampered by a system that is definitively broken at this point. So uh, physicians have a lot to gain out of an intelligent effort to uh, bring some sense and organization structure uh, to health care. And perhaps to show that he really is listening to physicians' concerns, President Obama briefly highlighted the primary care physician shortage in malpractice insurance during his closing remarks. We're not producing enough uh, primary care physicians because the cost of uh, medical education is so high that people feel that they've got to specialize. Uh, the issue of, uh, of malpractice insurance is real. And if you're an ob that is enormous pressure. That you're having to deal with. Congressional leaders promised to introduce a health care reform bill by June, and Obama said we'd see major reform within a year. But no specific plans for getting there were cemented at the summit. Obama's press secretary, Robert Gibbs, likened the summit to the ceremonial first pitch in a baseball game. So it might be the very early stages, but the overwhelming feeling at this hot ticket event was that because all stakeholders are finally getting into the game, health care reform is closer than ever to being a reality. I'm Emily Walker, MedPage Today. 